Howdy y'all. This is Proverbs 9 and the RSV for December 9th, 2023. Wisdom has built her house. She set up her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her beasts. She has mixed her wine. She's also set her table. She has sent out her maids to call from the highest places in town. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. To him who is without sense, she says, Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine I've mixed. Leave simpleness and live. Walk in the way of insight. He who corrects a scoffer gets himself abuse, and he who reproves a wicked man incurs injury. Do not reprove a scoffer, or he will hate you. Reprove a wise man, and he will love you. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One for is insight. For by me your days will be multiplied, and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, you are wise for yourself. If you scoff, you alone will bear it. A foolish woman is noisy. She's wanton and knows no shame. She sits at the door of her house. She takes a seat on the high places of the town, calling to those who pass by, who are going straight on their way. Whoever simple, let him turn in here. And to him without sense, she says, stolen water is sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he does not know that the dead are there, that our guests are in the depths of Sheol. On one hand, like last chapter, we were saying, you got to be quiet. And you got to go where wisdom is. Just sit to get to interact, to catch a glimpse of wisdom. But then also, we see that she's not aloof. And she's not unfriendly. Wisdom is actively setting the table for us to come and join her and to share in, in her feast, to get knowledge and understanding. We're welcome there. We just have to show up. Similarly, who you hang out with matters. The people of the feast trying to be wise, trying to not be simple, trying to gain understanding and live right. The scoffers they don't want to be with those people. And the wicked people, they don't want to be with those people. Conversely, if you go hang out with those people, you're not going to find the people seeking wisdom and understanding there. True wisdom. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is insight. And that is completely upside down to what we're told in American society. I feel like there's been a mass conflation of, you know, the, the fear of the Lord and wisdom and religiosity. So when people are like, ah, it, that's religious hullabaloo. Well, we're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. There certainly is in many religions and practices, man-made dogma, rules, and nonsense. However, Abraham didn't Abraham wasn't a Jew, right? But he he feared the Lord, and he had faith, and it was counted as righteousness to him. So there's a the fear of the Lord. I feel like is is what is meant to be like the base level of righteousness. You can acknowledge that there's more to life than you, and that there's something greater than us. There's something created this existence. Therefore, there must be standards to which we should adhere. Right? But that's not superstition or religion. That's not the same. If you're wise, you're wise for yourself. And if you scoff, you alone will bear it. At the end of the life, we're all going to answer for our own lives and our own words. So the way we live, while it does affect others, is for us to bear, right? If we're wise, it's for our sake. If we scoff, we're going to answer for it. And Folly, the foolish woman, says, turn in here. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's have a good time. Let's have fun. Stolen water is sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. 
But that's where the dead are, in the depths of hell, Sheol. Fleeting pleasure, right? You do whatever you want, have a great time. But at the end, you're not going to find fulfillment, and you're going to chase it to the grave. So we should set, set our minds, set our sights on heaven, and be aiming at those things, and not just passing carnal pleasures. Answer a call when you feel like the Lord's speaking to you. When you're hearing from wisdom, don't brush it off. Listen to what it's being said. Be blessed.